Hey guys, I'm Kayla, I'm Yana, and welcome back to Latte and Foam. So we are coming to you guys with an emergency video because some big, big news just dropped. And that is that Voltage is releasing their very first console game for the Nintendo Switch console first, no mobile version, and they dropped the due date. Yes. It sounds like it's a baby. The release date. <laughs> <laughs> that's really what it is. What And that is? June 9th of 2022. Oh my god, that's so soon. I expected like a fall or winter because the vibes are kind of dark. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. And I don't know, like, because it keeps saying like they just kept never announcing it. So I was like, it's a definite fall kind of thing. Yeah. I've seen like a few things about it online or a few people do reactions to it, different things about it. But mm -hmm. we haven't really delved into it ourselves or discussed it amongst each other. So no. today we're going to go like on the site. There's a full website for it, which first, actually, I want to preface this by saying because like we do a lot of like research and stuff like that within the industry, we actually came across a document for Voltage shareholders that stated that they're investing around $2 million mm -hmm. into this title. So that's the budget that they allotted for it. And I'm sure that has to do with the localization, not just like the art and everything for the game, but localization, advertising. And it's a big budget game though. I mean, we've never even dreamed of spending that much on a game. So it's crazy. Yeah. Cause they're projecting to sell, hopefully just to make back the 2 million, about 51,000 copies across the board. So this is yeah. kind of big. Which I think they will. I don't know. I have like no concept of how console numbers do for Ultimate, to be honest. Yeah, if you're like a console only player, like do you guys buy, do you buy every single game that comes out or like? Or do you only buy games that kind of suit your fancy? I feel like that's how I am. I don't buy every single game. No, neither do I. Um, and that's what's kind of weird about this one because this is not a game that I would normally want to get. Maybe after today, I'll feel differently or will feel differently because I think you feel the same way. Yeah, I do too. I'm sure that they'll make back though their investment because I always see people like limited edition they're like it's sold out it's sold out so i'm like i'm sure that they'll yeah i wonder how many limited edition copies they actually do or if they say yeah i have no idea okay so we're gonna get into the premise yes. okay so it says trapped by time by fate and by love even if raging flames sear her flesh as scolding laughter weighs her down as lead her last moment are as she lived bereft of love void of hope and overflowing with despair and then she died a witch whispers to the girl steeped in regret, don't you want a second chance? The witch bestows upon her the power of the fatal rewind and her charred life is returned to a pure white, a blank slate. How many of you have wished, like, I wish I could just start this completely over? Yeah, like, wait, hoping you're waking up in, like, 2009. Yeah. Just, like, there. Can I just Starts restart? Because I know so much more now. <laughs> it's all due to you being a witch. Everyone instinctively understands what a repulsive being you are. And so, nobody loves you. Really quickly, as we're going down here, I have to say, some of the art's nice, but it's really not, like, impressing me that much. When I see her, I regress to the weak child I once was. Despair is what happened when you know it's all over. Once you realize that there's no going back. It gives me, um, every time they say despair, it gives me Danganronpa vibes because I'm playing that right now. Yeah. And like, <laughs> Jinko's the ultimate despair, so it's like what I think of. Beginning at the end, you were the one that gave me courage. You don't have to say a word, just let it all out. Oh, so these are like each of the guys saying their little things. You have more allies than enemies. So many people love you, never forget that. I wonder what era this is supposed to be. Yeah, I wonder too. Despair doesn't exactly look good on you. This time I will transform into the ideal version of myself. So she cut her hair. Yeah. That's the ideal version. With this oath branded into her heart, she returns to life, yet the resolve will only lead to further misfortune. The curtain rises on the carnival, and this witch trial shall herald the end. I remember some of the voice actors were like tweeting little cards, and one of them had answered a question about something, and mm -hmm. they said the witch trials was their favorite part of the game. So it kind of seems like there might be gameplay in this. Hopefully. Things will say like gameplay, but it's really just like choices that are wrapped up in a sense of gameplay. Yeah, that's so. honestly what I prefer. I don't want to do actual shoot em up games <laughs> in, shoot any, em up. <laughs> in any sense. <laughs> but what are witch trials? I feel like they're going to be like, like Danganronpa, where it's like bullet of truth. Yeah, because I, I mean, that does, like, you have to actually like engage in it and stuff, which I mean, I'm fine with just like the choices being it. It's just like, are you trying to figure out kind of like who done it kind of thing, maybe? Yeah, that could be. I refuse to accept this as my happy ending. 
Okay, product information. Even if Tempest is a title, or Tempest, I keep saying Temptest. Even if Tempest. Nintendo Switch download only, so it's not going to have a physical release at all. So the physical girlies are not going to be able to get that. That's a, that's a choice. Coming 2022, not yet determined on the price, rating depending, and I wonder why they haven't updated this, because they released like a statement on Twitter and everything that's going to be coming out June 9th, but it just doesn't say that here yet. Japanese and English co-current release, basically. It's considered an adventure. Oh, okay, so it's considered an adventure game. I wonder if there will be more gameplay then than the standard. I hope so. Maybe. Fully voiced, excluding the heroine. Okay. I don't like the heroine being voiced personally. Neither do I. I know so many people have been saying that they love it, but I do not like it. Okay, so they worked with a lot of different people on different aspects of things, so I can kind of see why it costs so much money. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go, now we're gonna take a look at like the characters. Yeah. The, the boys and girls. So we'll go look at the main character whose name is Anastasia. Anastasia. It says, oh one goddess, crimson soul of the wheel of fortune. Wheel of fortune is a tarot card, so it looks like they're really getting into like the witchy stuff here. She's 18. How do we feel about that? So I, per I mean like if they are gonna do younger, I always say at least try to make them 18. It bothers me when they... To be fair, I feel like they don't need to always mention the age. If it doesn't really, really heavily play a factor, the age doesn't matter because they're all supposed to technically be self-insert. So it's like, I'm clearly not that age. So it Yeah, matter. I prefer to just know like stage of life. Like I'm early working career or I'm late high school, like whatever it is. Yeah. Okay, a girl who had to deal with her se her stepmother's cruelty since childhood. Little Cinderella moment. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> a musty attic room was, musty. <laughs> <laughs> was once her whole world, but that all changed when she gained the ability to change the past with the fatal rewind. This unusual ability dyes her fake crimson and raises the curtain on a new manner of tragedy. Seems like she just like chopped her hair off. She was like, start from a new. And dyed it red. Boom. Okay. So not much to know yet. I, I will say though with MCs, you know, ever really give you much because you're technically supposed to play as them so if you make them two personality it makes them isolated i feel like i feel like the console movement is to give them more of a like a look and a personality but voltage has never really gone that route so i personally like it that way I, again it's nothing's wrong with having an mc that appears i usually take them off the screen me too but they're like, unless i like think they look like me or something yeah i'll I can't really ever but unless they do a custom one which would be really nice and custom and like in all of that then it makes it more of a so i think honestly the first one that i ever saw that technically had an mc that also had similar skin tone to me was in mystic messenger because you could pick between three of the pictures but then for whatever reason the cgs they were like they just went with one Stop it. anyway it doesn't matter <laughs> so yeah i find it weird that i can somehow self-insert into so many of them because they specifically choose green eyes and brown hair and it's like I know that's not common in Japan, so I don't know why they choose that, but I, you would have think that they would have them just like black hair, like dark eyes. Yeah, which is not at all. Like again, I guess maybe some people do, You're like if you play with that intention, like I'm just playing the story and I'm watching, nothing's wrong with that obviously. I just, if I'm playing Otome, it's because I want to be romance, so I'm just like. <laughs> yeah, comment below, do you like self-insert or not? Because I was surprised by how many people don't self-insert, and I wonder if that's because you and I were like, we found Otome through Voltage, mm -hmm. and the whole thing of Voltage is like self-insert. Yeah, so, so. Like, All right, next, Lucian. Nashburn? Nashburn. I don't know that I'm saying that right at all. Oh, they have an image change. Cool. So oh, you can change? Oh, that's awesome. Transform Azura with Frail Heart, Lucian Nashburn. Should we play his voice? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to play his voice. 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 I like it. Okay. Interest cat. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> That's weird. He's also 18. The kindly third born prince of the kingdom of Historica. <laughs> Historica? It's like, <laughs> it's history. Oh, if I was like, what I was it Historica? <laughs> Historica? Or is it South America? <laughs> Due to his mother's low standing, he's been tortured by relatives for most of his life. Though he's one of the few contenders for the throne, his weak nature means few expect much of him. After the heroine's first fatal rewind, however, that's all turned on its head. He becomes a capable, if callous, public figure. What changed in him, and which of these personas is the real him? The heroine's time-changing power give her frustratingly little insight. Interesting. I feel yeah. like it, he would have a lot in common with the MC because they both had like kind of traumatic pasts. So I'm not, not a superb fan of like their uh, drawing of their eyes like right now. Yeah, to be honest, I think his sprite is my favorite of all the ones I've seen though, like outfit wise and everything. Yeah. Um, it kind of gives me like Cinderella with a twist, kind of a 
Yeah. I it's, do really like, charming with the like his outfit because it seems like the stars and like the little sun and stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I like it. Okay, let's go to the next guy. Yeah, what is that? Sirius? Cyrus? Cryus? I don't know. <laughs> they just like to put words together. Heartless charity and greedy affection. Okay, actually, I think he's my favorite so far. Yeah, like look at how he's he's kind of bae. Yeah. Like, that's, okay. And I like his eyes being more sultry rather than like the big bright eyes of the previous one. Yeah. Castle Rock is his last name. The young vice commander of the wings of Garuda, an order that cares for the goddess's favored birds. His good looks, gentlemanly conduct, and refreshing smile have made him popular with the ladies. The popularity combined with the kind of personality that slips through your fingers earns him the ire of many a man. But his subordinates have nothing but trust for their vice commander. He looks all but perfect on the surface, but dig a little deeper and you'll find an endless void. Let's hear his voice. He's 26. フェンシングディレルからメージられてまいりましたやつとは同格なのでこんな命令なんか聞く必要はないんですが借りがありましてねあなたをお助けすることでチャラになるんですよいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいや
I feel like I've heard this voice actor before. Like I've seen. Let's hear it. Let's roll it early. So, 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 His, he be, Now they're having Rune Factory fight references. <laughs> <laughs> he bequests incredible powers to people and enjoys watching the subsequent discord and suspicion they cause among other humans. He's unscrupulous and deranged, sadistic, and, and cold blooded. Dang, he better be a love interest. Dude, if he's on a love interest, there will be uproar. And no one knows what exactly he wants. Okay, okay. What are we feeling like generally about this right now? After, now that we know the details of the characters. I, okay, so now with the characters and kind of understanding, and now I think like here in the witch trials, it seems interesting to me as like if it's like a Salem witch trial, like, and then they're pro you're probably gonna be one of those people that get put on like trial. The I, that does interest me too because there's very few like dark concepts that I actually like. Like, I don't so much like fantasy concepts,、mm -hmm. but the Salem witch trials were a real thing that happened, witchcrafts, all of that, super into that. So, I would actually. Think that this is something I might pick up? What about、yeah. you? Me too. The idea of like the fate rewind, it kind of reminds me of Tokyo Revengers because like the main character goes back in time before and like seeing if you could change events or make things better. But I think that's kind of interesting to see like how that would go or if like you make a wrong choice. And this is just my opinion if it's gonna go like that, it might not even be close to what happens. But like, okay, she like keeps having to go back and like restart things kind of like that first character that we looked at when it, he was like, Weak, and then now all of a sudden, as it changes, so it's like you have to make the right choices. But I like the concept of if it's the witch trials the way we're envisioning it to be, yeah, that'd be super interesting. And I feel like you really they can't really go wrong with adding that element of the witch trials into it.、Mm -hmm. I guess the only way they could go wrong is if like it's not what we think at all, and it's just like an extra chapter where they just basically run through it, and there's no like. There's no volition that you have to change how the outcome of the witch trial. Yeah. But as long as you have some kind of volition to change the witch trial outcome, some kind of choice that you can make or gameplay element, then I'm super duper excited. Yeah. And I'm assuming, based on like the picture of like the beast, that either they turn into a beast. Like, I want to know that. So I kind of like that. Like that bird thing? Yeah. Somebody's got to be that. Maybe Potentially,、it's... maybe. And I just want to know. Harry Potter. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That was uncalled for. <laughs> I wonder too how she dies. I know that just doesn't matter probably, but I want to know. Like, what I feel led like the prologue is going to be a banger. And I feel like because it's voltage, they're not, they're going to come correct with the prologue. It's not going to be drawn out for like 16 hours. And、no. you're like, when the hell am I on someone's no, ground? I, I don't like that. I don't like when we're, <laughs> don't want to take a week to get through a prologue. And I'm like, you know, just let me choose who I want to choose. Like, let me do that. We really need some like, Juggernauts in there to shake up the game because Ultimate's really just been the only option, and it's definitely not a bad option by any means. But sometimes、mm -hmm. you just want something a little different, like the girls just want to fall in love a different way. Yes,、know? and if this does well, maybe they'll finally pour over Druby Days in West Tokyo. I, <laughs> I, know. I knew you、like、didn't think that was gonna happen. <laughs> These are not anywhere near similar, but if, if it gets they're it like going, they're like the dark concept as well. Let's go ahead and pour like <laughs> if they did pour my last first kiss, they could simply do Dreamy Days in the, West Tokyo. I worry though that they think that Dreamy Days is too old to. Port. That's the thing, because the I love Dreamy Days to death, and the I'm the first one to petition porting it. Actually, tweeted this morning that they need to port it、yeah. instead of releasing even. Please find that tweet if you guys see it. Go to her page, retweet it a bunch of times, comment, and say yes, I agree. Dreamy Days. Dreamy. I am oh, campaigning. Oh, speaking of Dreamy Days, that for real, for real, better be your next video. Because <laughs> I feel like the last three videos we've been like Dreamy Days is coming next. Dreamy Days is coming next. I yeah. So we're gonna try our best to like yeah. We're gonna do that one. We're also gonna finish up Pirates in Love. L let me just preface、okay. this right wait, now. Wait, wait, wait. Up. I just want to preface this. I don't know if I could commit to that. We're gonna re finish through Hayate, and then we're just gonna do the video. Then we'll、I'm、give you an update. I'm telling you right now, <laughs> right it's now. It's bad, guys. Like y'all lied.、Worse. You lied. You're like it's actually a good story if you read it. Where? Here, I'll give you guys one chance. Like if you think <laughs> one, <laughs> one option, one opportunity of a lifetime. If have you read Hayate, and is that like the best that they've got? And、yeah. if it's not the best that they've got, and there's something like way better, and his route just happens to be bad, then I would like to know. I would like to know. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna try any others because I can't get past chapter four. Yeah. And it's been two months. Well, we might shout out your comment in the video that we do on Hayate because that's all we're gonna play. I love. That's the boy <laughs> rink. <laughs> that's the boy <laughs> rink. I wish it was more. No, I don't. But yeah. 
Um, I wish that it was actually a boy rank, but Dreamy Days will actually be a boy rank because we played all of those characters over and over, many times over, and I actually have an original boy rank that I made forever ago on that game. That was my very first OTV So game. we'll see if it changes. So. What changes? I'll now be in the video. Yeah. <laughs> That sounded so rude. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, like, why wasn't I in it before? <laughs> no, I'll be in it this time, you know. <laughs> and It will be better. <laughs> just because I didn't used to, like, plan them. Like, I would just be, like, off the cuff talking about it. Yeah. But... So, but yeah. So, thanks for taking into our Even as Tempest. Maybe we'll be playing the game later when it comes out and give you our first thoughts. I know. I can't. I honestly can't believe that I'm kind of like okay. Because this morning we weren't. Good. We were like no. This morning we were talking mad honest. trash in the office. Like we were talking mad trash. We were like really like I don't even want to see this. But we're now open minded people. We've changed. Yeah. In a matter of twelve hours. We've seen the light. The I've seen what I needed to light. see. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So we hope you guys are having a good week. Hope you have a good rest of your week. We will see yeah. you guys when. <laughs> I don't want to say that. <laughs> I don't want to say when you'll see us next. But thank you for coming in for this midweek check-in, and we will post another video and happy early at birth- some point in time. Happy early birthday to Kayla. Oh, thank you. April 25th. Whoop. The perfect date. Not too hot, not too cold. All you really need is a light jacket. Have you seen Miss Congeniality? No. <laughs> No. They ask like the dumber one, the one that's playing the dumb character. They say, describe your perfect date. And she goes, April 25th. <laughs> and everyone's just dead silent. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm yeah. here for it now. But yes, okay, yeah. So we are. We're so bad at ending like, videos. I can't. We've never ended the video well. I think the best ending we've ever done is the one where it ends with dream. Let's Daddy. just do that. Roll it. Whoop.